Prepare for battle. For the teams before we can go. Oh, what? Yeah. Mm hmm. Poor pilot guy. Dota, professional Dota is just him playing Ogre and Shadow Demon. Kinda. Oh yeah, yeah, the split farming Jakira. Alright, let's run through the team. Secret! Gonna be on that radiant side. Pylai Dai and the Shadow Demon. Keizu, the Enigma. We have Medwan on that Shadow Fiend. Very comfortable on that hero. Puppy, the Vengeful Spirit. MP, gonna play that. Safe lane Juggernaut. Hit him. 30 seconds to battle. The battle begins. Yeah, but uh, I think maybe next. I might want to crash this party. Yeah, these puppies are like, no, 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 no. Blocks up some of his creeps as well, I think. This camp block. And if he blocks it again at the next minute, puppy will not have access to creeps until the third minute. Oh, pilot, that what's up? Whoa, trying to snipe a courier. Punish. I didn't miss first blood. Skylark, I'm gonna ignore Puppy's presence because he knows that he has no stun. So, yeah, Puppy's actually. Radiant's yeah. Puppy doesn't tower. care. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you, you're, you're talking about Thug. I was talking about um, Skylark. My bad. But yeah, he was fighting a Puppy. But yeah, another tower dive for tower dive. Tried to trade it out and mid one. Gonna save a trip to the fountain by popping a base shrine. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what, what happened there? A soldier's fortune. Well, got to repay the favor that Pilot I did. So... But Madara's getting a free lane now. Yeah. I think they, they, they seen, they've they seen this jungle Vengeful Spirit and they want to punish it. And Vengeful Spirit, without stun, not the best hero to contest a uh, a slaughter like this. And now he gets an invisibility rune. Gonna be able to sneak up on someone. Chen comes in with the chicken, but I don't think that's gonna lead up to a kill. Yep, yeah, they're gonna crush him. Hit him with once, but Pylai comes in, there's the safe from Pylai Dai. The resident shadow demon player, Puppy, now throws out that missile. Gonna stun up Darcia, will it be a kill, the fairy fire keeps him alive though. Meanwhile, Spartan dies to the Chen because of that chicken. With the penitence as well, slow him down, but the creeps actually pick up maybe next time. So it's a one for one, but they lose Juggernaut, which is, I think, a bigger deal.
I'm gonna disrupt. Body block. Nope, no body block. Sprint means infinite parving, but Pylai die. Uh, still try for it anyway. Put himself too close to the slaughter as a result and uh, got himself destroyed. Forgot about that little mechanic of sprint. Here we come, the penitence is slow, the sonic boom goes through, the shackle shot just over a little bit. No, misses the power shot! Shaves off the Shadow Fiend's right armpit, but not gonna kill him off with that, but... The test of faith, level 1, more than enough to strike him down. Effort and playing aggressive Dota, you asked for this, Mike, and you... They are delivering this heavy aggression. Okay, Doug, Apple. Yeah, heavy aggression. Oh, here comes the Mud Golem again, mid one. Destroyed there by Spartan. This Chen is on a dominating spree already. He's just going for the burst damage instead of the chain disables. Shockwave and the Mud Golem. Black hole is it enough. Nope, he <laughs> gets himself sight. And Madara's gonna one v two here. Pilai dies. Drops. What's happening? The secret. What? I can't believe they. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're putting a lot of aggression onto Secret. And, well, Puppy's jungle... Not working out for him. Then, <laughs> finally hits level 4. The last time, he hit level 4 a lot sooner. Slada. Oh, gotta go for a crush. Is there aggression coming in? There is a Chen, though. It is... It's Pylidai taking a lot of damage. The dominating spree is gonna end. Wow, that power shot snipes Pylidai right between the eyes there. Very nicely done. And uh, they do get the Sentry Ward, but SF snipes the Observer. So they get a Dominating Spree. Highlight Dive going down to... Uh, Spartan going down to MP. So the Hot Carry getting that farm there. Very good for him. Raise. Ooh, gonna scoot away. Yeah. Windlace, boots, sprint. Yeah, gonna run away. A lot of work being done by a level 3 slaughter. Yeah. Yeah. He does vanish, but there's the stone shot. The power shot is gonna go far, but there's the Reaper Scythe, so. Pile and Die is going to spend 25 seconds on the sidelines. Poor guy. He, he does he does, uh, he does tank the gank for the Shadow Fiend though, so that is nice at least. A soldier's fortune. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack.
He's uh, he's building the same thing, Madara going for the four stuff and then most likely into the Agonim Scepter, really valuing that early that early cooldown reduction. And also denying that tower on the top lane, denying secret even more uh, more funds to their war effort. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Oh, they're going in again. Looking for the hit. Radiant's bottom but tower MP is under attack. Can be sitting around. Black hole is off cooldown already. Vengeful spirit. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Okay. Now, now it's better to have that as a deterrence, and uh, hopefully it buys you some time. Yeah, they 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 showed they were not scared from the get go. They got two Hellbear smashes as well for the attack speed bonus. Mud Golem gets converted by Enigma there, so that's gonna spawn two little baby shard golems though. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ventral sprint. Deny. They glyph it up. Radiant's oh. Under Radiant's has been Shackle shot. Yeah. Just gonna slow puppy for a bit. The hell bear. Gonna maybe open. But nope. FNM is Radiant's gonna close up the map for secret. Don't give that. Don't give them time to farm. High aggression gaming. That's why FNM are fun to watch. You know, a lot of fans have started coming over to the Greek side. Aggressive playstyles are fun to watch. Here is a secret gank. Go look for the bug. They do have the raise though. They shackle up the Shadow Fiend but not enough damage. So a disruption into a Requiem combo there. They take out the Windrunner. A nice little kill for the Shadow Fiend to get. Now do they get out of this mess is the problem. Pylai die has a TP. Yep. Goes Shroud there. Looking for Pylai die. Doesn't find him. But they both get out clean. So a nice assassination there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Amplify damage, this shouldn't be a contest at all. Seeker already used their Requiem, so even with that haste rune, haste rune on the Shadow Fiend, probably not gonna amount to anything. The tier 1 bottom is in trouble, but Enigma is gonna try and run away. He will port away. Vacuum only level 2 though. I think Skylark needs a couple more levels once that vacuum uh, with a bigger AoE. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, Pilot Dai, walk away, Pilot Dai. The shot. Oh, they're gonna search for the creep. Maybe they look for a target here. Yeah, maybe look for MP. A stun here wouldn't be too bad either. I think they're gonna hold that stun. 
for a late fury DD, but I think it'll settle for Puppy then. Yeah, Puppy sacrificial lamb, as they call it. Gonna get scythed down and more money for that Necrophos. A death is still a death. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. But a soldier's fortune. Middle tower. Yeah, they're really losing space to make mistakes now. One or two more bad mistakes and it's high ground. Top lane still looking pretty clean in terms of towers, so FNM look to change that. Two eggs. Yeah, it's well. Once it happens, it's gonna hit them like a truck. The Necrophos ulti available every couple of seconds. The Wind Ranger having her focus fire, shredding buildings. She now hits level twelve as well, so she hits level two of that. They used the demonic purge as well, and Madara get a tier one and straight bait. Can't complain. Dark Zagonim is complete, so it's gonna be very troubling very soon. Secret making a very bold push here. Chen TPing in right away. Puppy probably gonna get killed again. Brings in the whole group and Puppy penitents up and uh, got him. Yeah, it's the vacuum. Don't even need any of the. Don't even need any of the ultimates to lock him down. Tested his faith. Uh, MP. Now might be in trouble himself. Thug. But MP decides to run north and he will be safe. Adara. 300 gold away. Enigma already has a blink though, so yeah, like you said, that time of Adfinim's uh, greatness is starting to wind down. Whoa, okay, so we're gonna get walked right into that, it's unfortunate. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down here. Enigma losing his life to the slaughter. Just very efficient scouting for MNT, knowing where all the heroes will be hiding. And uh, this goes to show the knowledge of each other's. Uh, each other's playstyles. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are Even vacuum. Even vacuum can tag him. Oh, they're going to crush up the Juggernaut. He's taking a lot of damage to Chainsaw with the, uh, with the Vacuum. And now Puppy is going to get caught out there. It's going to be a perk on that Slaughter. The Shackle Shot latches into the only three in the only tree in the jungle. We'll find Highlight Dyer as well. They shoot him down. 5 to 15. Secret. Oh no. 60 seconds on the sideline. MP. That was a fresh new Aghanims as well. So Madara puts the extra time on him. 
and locks them away. a blink vacuum on Darkseer so black holes are pretty impossible at this point. There is no way. Right? But uh, after them I'm not gonna risk it without, uh, without Aegis so... Looks like Enigma will be getting more time to farm that BKB. And only thing that goes through BKB is uh, is that Reaper's size, so... I don't think Necro is going to be too cut up about using that though. 25 second cooldown. Once he hits level 3, it's pretty manageable. Big and the Omni Slash goes on to Slaughter, but he tanks that Omni Slash up. So Secret gets an opening. Good get a kill. And then take some towers. Slaughter a little bit too hasty for his own good. But it's only 20 seconds of death timer because of his low level. So not the worst thing. Thug might get black hole here. I think they're gonna black hole Thug, yeah. Gonna black hole him. Probably kill him off. Well, as well, but... Yeah. They know he's not getting those big black holes. Yeah. Hi, did I? Uh oh. Goodbye, Pi. Oh! Yeah, they, they got him. He's gonna get sight. Oh. The life of Pi. Life of Pi. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Haste. No. Oh. Dara now has that Blink Dagger, so extra mobility, MP, got a TP away from the Wind Ranger. No bashes available, so... I must commend Secret for their ability to just split farm the entire map, in spite of being constantly pinned down by this aggression from Ed Finum. Shadow Fiend is top net worth, so that, that tells you something for a team that's quote quote losing. He seems to be okay. Right now they're just waiting for Roshan, just posturing on the map, make sure the creep waves are pushed out decently enough before going for that Rosh. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
blink brush on the illusion top. But yeah, that uh, that solo black hole was not a uh, was not punished there on secret. And now the BKB is done for Keizu, so a big black hole could be in the future here for Secret's team fights. Oh, smoke on smoke action. There's a black hole. This could be Secret's turning point, but uh, Affinima is going to Roshan with that smoke. They're gonna break with Madara. Madara's gonna be there. Oh no, Keizu breaks the smoke play with some plays, and now Darcia goes in with the vacuum wall. And this is the crush as well. The red room is there. The black hole only locks down that Darcia. So the Darcia will fall, but that's a black hole on a Darcia. Madara now running away. They reposize the vengeful spirit, and now the fight goes haywire. Thug is blinking around, the stun comes out from the slaughter, he's chasing down MP, MP has to spin, he's gonna remove that, he's gonna remove that amplifier damage, so the vision is gone for now. They still have vision of the Shadow Fiend, they sign up the Centaur Falkyra, Chen has a huge army, Necrophos going in there, and falls to the wall, there's the crush, the Shrek, and wow, Necrophos with haste, makes the Shadow Fiend really, really soft, and Ryan is gonna keep him up for now, mid one will fall, Thug lowers well, the Omni Slash goes onto the Chen, is their life saved? Yes, their life is saved! MP, gonna be very frustrated with that Chen save, Keizu, Gonna run away from this slaughter. He's amplified up. I don't think he's gonna be able to run. And uh, all the all his running has done is given them time to recharge their Reaper side. So he's gonna go down for 80 seconds. Oh no! In the middle lane as well. Not that close to pays on him. Nope. He's got some. He's got some tankiness in there. Is he gonna get out? No, he will not. Yeah. Dog will put another three arrows into his head. And then down he goes. Four heroes lost the secret. That black hole was pretty much used out of reaction there to the Darcia combo. Did get one kill, but that was it. And, uh, that does not vote well for secret. Buyback, back you. Oh, disruption saved though. Highlight die. Saves his buddy's life. Puppy stuns up the Darcia. This Darcia very tanky with the Guardian Greaves gonna run away the buybacks all coming out here for secret they really want to get a kill a crit here from the illusion almost takes out the darks here but the send back happens and at finum just gonna run away with that one yeah a soldier's fortune Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the secondary fight as well at the Radiant Shrine was also won by the was won by the Necrophos. He just blinked in to distract all of them. Like, oh wow, a Necrophos is being that aggressive. You know that one two second of delay, and then the slaughter goes behind to stun someone up. Casey at the black hole lands on Greedo. The pen of God will come out. It's a big black hole. Gonna do quite a bit of damage. Thug gonna drop really low, but not low enough. The black hole is there. They will check Roshan's secret. Snatches it. That is a big one to get. I'm surprised after them let that one happen. They just walk right into that one. Keizu finally getting a good black hole. They do not lose any lives though, after them. But mid one, with that high with that high net worth, really happy to keep that Aegis in his pocket.
Shadow's bottom tower is under attack. My thrift rewarded. Yeah. But uh, Secret are slowly flowing back into this game, and this is kind of the mark of an experienced team. They they may lose early game, you know, if you watch teams like DC, you know, they may lose early game, but the decision making, their constant ability to throw back old MP is exposed right now, but they go down to the south there with that, and then Reaper Sight picks up highlight the idea of spending support. Puppy in trouble as well, might take down to that, yeah, might take down to the heal, a right click here, beyond God like Madara, if you haven't noticed. Bug taking quite a fair bit of damage here from that MKB Shadow Feast. They're ignoring mid one right now. The proper approach to the team fight because he does have that Aegis. And now MP gonna get shackled to the what's the tree on the low ground? Mid top gonna be very low here. Tries to spin away and with that side goes down for a hundred seconds. And mid one trapped himself on the high ground. And with Aegis, you respawn on that high ground. This guy does not have a Blink Dagger. He has Hurricane Pike in two seconds. He is going to have to try and run this illusion. Chopping away at him. There is no way he escapes this, right? Plata is there. They deploy the Raccoon Assault. Skylar backs it back in. Mid one's little boo-boo. Might have cost him his life, but oh no, the Shroud got himself killed. But mid one, once again, as the Shadow Fiend, the raid boss, taking a lot of people down with him. Keizu has the PKB. Really does want to use that to run away, but uh, maybe next time he's alone, by the way. No. <laughs> yeah, he has a four star. Yeah, he's not getting out of there. That medallion, see that he goes down. But uh, that's the ages down. FNMA, a really aggressive team. Fighting into ages. Rip highlight die. Stomp. A lot of money going to. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, you have to note that uh, Thug got a lot of very close shaves. Some of them thanks to Chen, some of them thanks to Dumb Luck, you know. He has a lot of... He had a lot of times where mid one was one shot from killing him and he just ran up into the fog. Very fortunate of him. Now the Ox here, working towards a Scythe of Vice, thing that Insta Hex would be really good, especially when you're playing Necrophos, where Burst is the name of the game. Blink Hex, something you really want to the Ox here is there. They don't have Necro there to lock them down. And of course, Paladai is there. Paladai is... Paladai will be around to disrupt. So I fit him, allow that black hole to come off cooldown again. Shadow Blade for Slaughter. Oh, juicy. Every coin helps. Huh? Well, the slaughter on the Shadow Blade will see if it pays off. 
sneak up on someone to pick them, be a big deal. Cross ogre, and be among those smoked up heroes. Pilai dice sees one. What is a Chen? Do you want to go for a Chen? There's a swap. Yep, spots are in trouble. They're gonna swap him in, but there's the heal immediately. The vacuum wall again. Keizu gets himself dropped. Like he did like BKB. He's fine. The disruption for Pilai is very quick. Jesus, buddy alive, but Shadow Beat is out already. Thug shooting him down. Keizu forgetting his BKB, cost him his black hole, and now he has the BKB to run. 80 seconds on the sidelines there for that Shadow Fiend is bad news for Secret because Thug is giving chase, and so is that Slada. He's going in, slams on puppies, even stuns up Enigma as a result. Puppy in trouble, but now the Omni Smash goes out. The Ghost Shroud is going to tank a lot of that slash, but MP. He's in a lot of trouble. The Reaper's sight will stop him for a second. The vacuum is there. Pulls Puppy back in. The Shiva's got tags up MP. There's Madara again with the aggressive jump forward. But Thug kills off the Juggernaut. And this time he doesn't have buyback. Highlight die. Crush the last one around just to watch his teammates die. They still have Puppy to catch. And he doesn't have TP. Puppy, 50 seconds on that TP timer. And there you go. Corrosive Haze and all that stuff. Madara will steal that kill. Get that regen going. Crazy fight back then. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Under attack. Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. Yeah, Spartan. What surge is this? A soldier's fortune. From the docks here, as well as Slada. I think the both of them just work really well together. Overall, FNM are gelling together as a squad and uh, really pushing Secret to the limits of their draft. Secret are still holding on, which is a testament to how good their team discipline is. Now, they've only lost a set of Rexes after that disastrous fight. They're not out of this just. MKB for the win runner. Wow. Now her damage is gonna to start to be. Well, I, I already say. I, I think it's already really powerful, but now it's even stronger. Slaughter just makes makes win runner's targets really, really squishy. Uh, a double damage is here, so MP, if he picks this one up, could go for a quick snipe on that 8. Oh, we'll purge him. Nope, tries to purge it. MP will spin to prevent the purge. On that double damage, allowing them to secure this very quick Roshan. Holy crap, Roshan. But now Skylock is here, he's gonna ruin their day. They're back in, he backs the sidelines though. The Hoof Stomp goes in. There's gonna be a black hole again. Casey finds it. Thug is going down. They lose the Wind Ranger and he doesn't have buyback. 80 seconds without buyback. How does he not have buyback? Did he buy it already? Yo, know, he bought an MKB, so he doesn't have buyback. I don't know if they noticed. But that's an Aegis and no buyback. The double damage rune could have won Secret the game. And a very quick reaction there from MP to spin before the purge creep got to him. And uh, dodging that double damage purge off. And now he's going to take that tier 2. I think they might be able to repay the favor in Raxus here at Finham. A really risky situation here. The Reaper Scythe goes out. Not going to be catching him in time. They two shot the Chen. Doesn't have buyback as well. At Finham's over aggression might not, uh, might have just cost them the game here. Be very careful. Yeah. Oh no, puppy! Takes out the Slada, and I think they lost. 
they just lost. No buybacks on three. And these are hot hitting heroes. Secret. Once they bang on this for a little bit more, they'll realize that uh half of them have no buybacks. So they lose at least two sides of Rexus here. Windrunner is coming back. Yeah, Windrunner is coming back. What happened? Yeah. Uh, top lane's pushed up a decent bit though, but as a refresher now on Keizu and a Shadow Blade, so he's looking for a little sneaky sneaky. Black hole into Shadow Blade, does it work? I think it works that way. I'm gonna be invisible while channeling the black hole. So. More troubles. Yeah, I thought he was going to the pit. Starting to wear on them. Secret just capitalizing on mistakes. And if you look at the graph, they were almost 10,000 behind. And now they're crushing. Secret might have just earned their spot in that qualifier spot. Yeah, not, not guarantee them. Yeah, but at least it puts them further ahead of the competition. Because FNM was actually in the run for for the slot as well but uh if they if there's zero two here it's gonna hurt their chances a lot He doesn't have fire, right? And uh, Enigma, Enigma has Shadow Blade, so it's going to be tricky. Yeah, Slaughter is still hiding there with the Invis. They they want to go there. They want to go in, catch them off guard. But what are you gonna do? Mid one has a has an Aegis, and he has a Pocket Daedalus as well, that he can't use. Oh, swap out on Chan, two shots, then. Dropping low, falls to immediately use it to Dagon Nail. We'll take out Puppy. Here comes Keizu, drops the Black Hole, Madara is caught, and so is the Darkseer, the Requiem. Right on top of them, the Darkseer is out of buybacks, but does, the Necropos does have it. Puppy is down for 70 seconds. And Thug's gonna catch out mid one, mid one, gonna get destroyed of that by Pylai Die. Can always count on their handy Shadow Demon to bail you out of situations. But there is their Shadow Fiend gonna buy back again. But here comes the second Black Hole! They didn't see this one coming and they all get grabbed up and Spartan calls GG. They know it's over. It so is Keizu. Well, that hidden, that hidden Black Hole lands on them. The Shadow Blade walk in, the second BKB Black Hole. Let's seal the deal there. Nice, nice team play from C. 